To find the solution to this equation, you have to find a number for which x is true and y is true to make the equation a true equation. What you do is you pick pretty much any number for x and plug it in and then solve for y. Then those two numbers function as a pair of numbers that is the solution to this problem. For instance, if you let x equal 1, then 3 times 1 minus 2y equals 15. 3 minus 2y equals 15. And if I subtract 3 from this side and subtract 3 from that side, I'm left with minus 2y equals 12. Dividing both sides by minus 2, y is equal to minus 6. You can write that as an ordered pair the same way you would write it if you were writing it on a coordinate graph with your x first and your y second. So it'd be 1 comma minus 6. Then you have an ordered pair that functions as a solution for this equation. Some of your homework problems will give you an equation like the one you see on the board. Then it will give you a coordinate pair and ask you, is this pair of numbers a solution to this equation? The way you figure it out is you take the x value first and plug it in wherever you see an x in the equation. Then solve for y. If the y you get for an answer equals the y you're given in the coordinate point, then the, the ordered pair functions as a solution. It works like this. For this one, our x value is 5. So in the equation, wherever I see an x, I'm going to write a 5. So the equation becomes 2 times 5 plus 5y equals 15. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 5y equals 15. Subtracting 10 from both sides, I end up with 5y equals 5. Dividing both sides by 5, I end up with y equals 1. Since y equaling 1 is what I should have had based on this coordinate pair, I say that's a good solution to this equation.